guys, welcome to Grow With Kit. And I'm just gonna be doing a quick video on repotting tomato seedlings. And so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic. Uh, thanks everyone who's already subscribed. And thanks a lot guys for all your comments and that. I really appreciate them. Um, yeah, we'll get cracking. So I'll see you in a second. All right, guys. So uh, this is just going to be a quick video on repotting tomatoes and pricking out the seedlings. And um, so this is my tomatoes. Uh, the variety is Golden Sunrise. Uh, these were sown on the twenty fourth of January. And um, as you can see, they they're desperately wanting to be repotted now. Um, the roots are probably getting pretty tangled up, so I'm gonna pot them up individually, and I'll show you how I do it. Um, I will. I'm just gonna set up the tripod and that, and I'll get back to you in a second. Right then, so I'm just gonna show you a couple. Uh, I won't film all of them. Um, I'm gonna start with these ones because they're they're going to be easier than your ones because there's less in there. <laughs> uh, so first things first, so just going to set the pot upside down, squeeze out the seedlings, and then you can see they've got some nice roots there. So and they're starting to wrap around, means that they really need repotting. So, the fun bit is trying to separate these, so, um, just try and do it relatively gently, but they're generally alright. As long as you don't damage too many roots, they'll, they'll recover. Um, there's one, we've separated him off. Another one. What we'll do is I'll leave them two for now. So stick them in there. Um, so uh, these pots would be ideal if they were a bit deeper than this, but that's all I've got at the moment. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to just put a little layer in the bottom of compost just to so the roots aren't directly outside the pot. Um, try and keep these the roots as intact as you can. And just gently put in the pot. Uh, with tomatoes you can bury the stem you can actually you can bury it all the way up to the first seed leaf. Um, these pots aren't really deep enough for me to do that. Uh, um, tomatoes can root all the way up the stem, unlike some other plants like cucumbers. They don't like being. They don't, they don't like the stems being buried, but tomatoes actually prefer it. They don't actually do better if you bury the stem. Right, so there's one. And we'll do another one. Exactly the same as the first one. Uh, the roots on this one aren't quite as good, so. Uh, when you're holding them, just try and hold them by the leaves if you can. Um, you want to bury as much of the stem as you can, all the way up to the first leaves, if you can. Uh, depends what pot you've got, obviously. Thank you. 
I just firm down the compost as you go. Um, give it a good old tap to make sure it settles all around the roots nicely. Um, you might as well use all your pot and fill it right up to the top. Just leave a little bit so when you water it doesn't come straight out. See we managed to plant that one up to the leaves. This one's not quite but it'll still be fine. That's all there is to it. And these will be alright in these pots for another two or three weeks, maybe a bit more. And then we'll we'll go up another pot size, maybe sort of like double that size and then hopefully by then they'll be ready to go outside. So I'm gonna do the rest of them and I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, so I finished repotting these tomato seedlings. Um, and we've got nine. So out of ten seeds I've sown, um, we've got nine, so that's quite good. Uh, technically, there's ten because there's actually two here. I've repotted them together. Um, there's no point in trying to separate them when they're that close. Uh, you probably could, but I'll probably just snip off the little one, or might even just leave it and see what happens. It'd be an interesting experiment just to leave it alone and see if maybe two plants will just grow side by side and whatnot. So I don't know. Anyway, so we're well done. I've tried to bury them as deep as I can. Um, this is the biggest one. See, they vary quite a lot in size. That's the smallest one. So, but they'll all they'll all be fine. They'll all catch up with each other and whatnot. So all, all I've got to do now is label up the pots and find somewhere to put them. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so that's my tomatoes all all labelled up, and I've given them a nice big drink of water um, and they should be alright in them pots now for another couple of weeks or so um, they might get some transplant shock they might go a bit droopy for a few days but they'll be fine um, next job is to repot these chilli peppers see they need, they're going to need repotting soon they're alright for now but Another few days and I'll be repotting them. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for this one. Uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, so that's it for this episode guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I'll see you on the next episode. We've got, uh, got some other little things to do. We've got to repot some chili peppers. Um yeah, so a few little bits down the garden which still need doing. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for the next episode and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. See you later.